Factorise 12ab plus 30b. Okay, we first of all look for the highest common factor of the numbers. So the highest common factor in the number part of 12 and 30 is going to be 6. And we're going to use that to rewrite the numbers. So 12 we can write as 6 times 2. And we're putting the ab as well so we don't leave it out. So we're going to add on now 30, we can write as 6 times 5. And we'll again remember to put that b in. Now what's common in this term expanded and this term expanded? There's a 6, we can circle a 6. There's no 2's, no a's, but there's a b. So we'll circle the b and we'll circle the b in this one. Now everything we've circled we write on the outside of the brackets. So we've got 6b on the outside, put the brackets in. On the left side, then the first term, we've got 2a, which is left, so we'll write 2a as our first term. And our second term, we've got 5, so we're just going to write a 5 in. I'll put the plus in as well. Now, how would you factor 20b minus 40bc? First of all, take out your highest common factor from the number part. Okay, The highest common factor of 20 and 40 is 20. Now we're going to rewrite 20 as 20 times 1, times by the b, let's not forget the letters, and we're going to rewrite 40 now. Now 40 is 20 times 2, and again remember the b and remember the c. We're just going to expand what we've got. Now we circle everything that's common to both, so there's a 20 in this term, a 20 in this term. It's also a b in this first term, and a b in the second term. So, write down what's common to both, 20b, that forms the outside of our brackets. Everything that's left, now there is a 1 left, so we would put the 1 in. Oops. And everything that's left in the second term is 2c. So 2c. We need to keep the sign the same, so we've got a negative in there. 20b, brackets 1 minus 2c, is our factorised expression. Next, we're going to factorise 7a cubed plus 21a. Okay, so what's the highest common factor of 7 and 21? The highest common factor of 7 and 21 is 7. I'm going to rewrite that then. So 7 is 7 times 1 times... Now, a cubed, we're just going to expand that slightly. Put a times a times a. So that's what a cubed means. 21, then, we're going to write out 7 times 3 and we're going to times it by our a. What's common to both is a 7 and an a. doesn't matter which a you pick, as long as we circle one. So we've got a 7a common in both. 7a goes outside the brackets. What's left? 1 times a times a. Now a times a we know is a squared a squared times 1 is just a squared. So we can write a squared as our first term. Our second term, we've just got 3 left. So we write plus 3. 